The other okay. big difference is that it removed two frames of block stun. So depending on whether you fault list or instant block something, you could give yourself like a four frame window of when you could act to like fuck with when they could throw you or like what options you have where. Um, each different game also had their own unique mechanic. Uh, like they each had a version of a parry slashback for plus R and blitz for exert. Just like stuff like that. Um, backdashes also used to be good. <laughs> uh, it, like in this game, Milia is has one of the faster overall ones, and it's like four frame invuln, uh, sixteen frame total. I played Elfel, who, to be fair, her backdash was just like extra fucked up, um, and hers was like nine frame active, like. 14 or 15 total? So it's like more than half. I am really out here throwing meter at my problems. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kirijin. You're like doing well, and then I'm just like, oh, look, I have 10 million meters. <laughs> Uh, I will also say I'm completely expecting that over the life of this game there will be extra defensive mechanics added. Um, though it's going to be weird because they can't really add a parry because they already have it in the game with instant block. Yeah. Um, and with the way Gatlings work in this game, it would be super fucked up if the window was any bigger. I guess they could sort of add Blitz actually. Um, Blitz was the exert parry, and after it was fixed to not be a bad mechanic, uh, the initial version of it was like kind of a joke. Oh, okay, okay, good PRC. How do you feel about the way the like uh, ah. post block stun wake up throw immunity frame? Ah. From a design perspective, since you're somebody who gets the full picture, like, how do you feel about it? Um, I think it's good, because if, like, say you were fighting Soul, and you had to do just a very true, like, 50-50 against Wild Throw or Close Slash, <laughs> um, it's actually less pronounced in this game, but... Okay, I could talk about Old Gear for a while, um, because I really like a lot of it on the design level. Uh, they made a couple fundamental changes to the game that main that this cannot play similarly to the old games. Um, the big one being throw. That was the other like big defensive mechanic that just isn't in this game at all. Uh, throws are still fast in this game. Throws used to be quote unquote frame zero. No way. Really? Um, yeah, they were they were instant throws, and you could OS them behind buttons. So, um, and the games were like designed around this. It, yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. I was used to it, is what I'd say. Okay. Um, and I think that for the game that Gear, wa oh my God, yeah, that uh, that definitely would have worked if you timed it well. I was not ready to jump that throw. Um, for the game that Gear was. Ah, it worked very well. In a game like this, it would be incredibly fucked up. Okay, okay. That was very close. <laughs> yeah, I've really, I've never been a huge proponent of the, you know, really it, crazy games, because I've always, like, I've had a big appreciation for it. So I think, you know, balancing these games in a way that's, like, meaningful fair but still interesting it's something that's like so nuanced and i can really respect it when people do a good job i agree um uh, i so the way i'd put it is um you know how i said earlier that plus r is like vaguely marvel in that sort of way like the character power being super high yeah Exerd is a game similar to KI in that the characters are fucked, but the system holds everything together incredibly well. 
I, I think that's a really good design <laughs> philosophy. Please, because it, oh, it helps. It helps iron out like discrepancies between the characters' abilities without having to homogenize them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and in sort of the same way that you know how uh, in Ki characters. Fucking hell, that hit me. <laughs> I can't believe that hit you. Okay, oh my god. But uh, you know how in Ki characters can be like incredibly fucked up because even after you've gotten hit, you still get to play a game to see how much it like you. You get a chance to escape, so they can put you in like say Milia mix, and they're not as worried because even if you block the mix wrong, you still have another possible escape route. Yeah, you have a chance to break it. Yeah. Um, Exerd worked like that, just, you know, tuned in a way where instead of combo breaking, it was like you have burst, and the defensive mechanics were absolutely overbearingly strong for a different game. Okay, but not that game because offense was so... Yeah. Um, the way I like to think of it is, oh, good block on the overhead. Uh, anytime you block the bad mid there, you should be like killing me for it. Shit, wrong way. Oh, if I ever get my dream and I get my board game to sell and I get enough money to hire people to do things I can't do. Make a fighting game, I think I might go that way. Crazy systems. Nice. Uh, that way, so I can be a little bit more unrestrained with the characters. Sure, yeah. And, I mean, there's nothing like a burst mechanic and the ability to actively interact with your opponent uh, on defense while you're blocking, or like adjusting both spacing and block stun. Um, and the, the, like, the ultimate just like trump card if they fuck up their oki and they are point blank and leave a gap you are willing to commit to getting counter hit then you can be like nope i'm yeah defensive intera defensive interactions are very important very important. uh you know i i'm really of the like school of thought when it comes to fighting games that i don't know i think and honestly, it's a lot of developers' fault that this has sort of become the case. Of these of these when people talk about like accessibility, it's such a dirty word. Yeah, because uh, there's like, there's good ways to do it, and then there's not good ways to do you know, it. It's a fucking dog shit way to do it. Comeback mechanics. Yep. An absolutely ridiculous. All right. Piece Strive just like kind of doesn't have one, huh? Yes. Yes. I mean, I can't. <laughs> oh. I can't put into words. Like, I think, so I saw Gold Lewis, then I looked up into the game more, and I found out it didn't have comeback mechanics, and I also bought it on principle, <laughs> because fucking, I am so sick. I am so sick of every one of these games going, we're going to make it accessible by making it so that people can win when they normally win. Yeah, so it's not even... The, uh, the so ad variance method of... Uh, adding accessibility is probably not great. And to be fair, actually, I'm going to say this game has an air quotes comeback mechanic, which is holy shit. Uh, if you get the right hit, it just does so much damage. <laughs> but that's, like, not really a comeback mechanic. That's just damage is really fucking high. True. And the thing is, is that, you know, the, once again, yeah, the okay, systems yeah. help keep things in check. You know, mm -hmm. do you have burst? Do you know that they've got meter? Like, you know, if, if Saul's got, uh, you know, full tension gauge, you really don't want to get hit by that, like, point blank wake up, uh, volcanic viper, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, it, the fact oh, that, really you know, and if you've been winning, if you've been winning, you, and that means you have tension gauge, which means you have so many ways to optimize your, your offense to cover for possible, you know, blow-ups mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah uh, i honestly i haven't really played a game with a true comeback mechanic i off the top of my head it was like let's see uni didn't have one i didn't play that super seriously though um i guess okay bb tag technically does but 
the trigger right right now the what I've played recently that has covered all of this. V uh, trigger and Street Fighter Five. Because uh, I mean, you only you're getting full V trigger for losing. That's what that is. Uh, and then uh, Rage Arts in Tekken. Uh, God damn it! Just, you know, what? Uh, sorry, I I just got hit out of a a jump in trying to punish the laser super because I keep extending my hurt box into the lasers as I'm hitting. <laughs> is he playing Gold Lewis? Uh, Ram. 